Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you. It's your sister Esther from France. So may the Lord bless the listening of this message and may the Lord bless all of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to share with you the dream that I had uh, this night. Okay, so the Lord showed me in the dream uh, the South Korea attacked by the North Korea. And um, I had previously a dream, a similar dream, uh, yeah, many months ago. The Lord showed me the North Korea who attacked the South, who will attack the South Korea. Okay. And I saw people was in panic, was running, was just, you know, trembling, was just lost, you know, and was just trying to escape, you know, this attack and to run for their lives, you know. So in the dream of this night, I saw a woman who tried to run, you know, and uh, to escape this. And she ran to another country. Yes. And uh, she, in this country, it was just as if it had impact the whole world. It was as if it had, it had an impact the whole world. And it was the same in the first dream that the Lord gave me about North Korea, when North Korea attacked South Korea, the impact was in the world. You know, it was a mondial impact. Okay. So she ran and uh, she, she, she find a refuge, you know, in another country. And uh, in this country, it was not better because uh, they, they were, it was a Christian woman and uh, the life was just miserable because it was very poor now and she was, you know, sharing her room, you know, with her son. It was a student home, you know, as in some universities, there are many student homes, you know, student buildings. And they were sharing it together. And they were sharing even meal, everything, you know, about, uh, yeah, about the life, you know, like uh, food, like uh, uh, water, everything that you need to feed you. Uh, oh, yes, they was just sharing it together. It was very, very difficult. And she was just sacrificing. You know, she was sacrificing herself for her son, you know. And it was very, very painful to see that because poverty was just um, as if it was just mundial, you know, everywhere in the world. Because of that of, or because of the impact of that, I don't know. And this happened in the year 2021. It was very precise, 2021. I don't know the month exactly. I just know that it was 2021 because in the dream we was in, when she was just, you know, uh, talking about that, it was in 2022, but the, this event happened in 2021. Okay, so I saw Christian uh, many Christians was persecuted, was persecuted. As you know, North Korea is a country very, very uh, horrible for Christians. They are so persecuted in North Korea. You know, it's very difficult to live your faith in North Korea. So just imagine when they will attack South Korea. And just imagine the thought, you know, uh, the feelings of the Christians in South Korea. So that was the dream. Please let us repent. Let us follow Jesus Christ. Let us, you know, it's our shield. Our real shield is in Jesus Christ. 
even if we 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 become poor even if we are just persecuted our shield is in Jesus Christ so let us just hear the sound of the trumpet of the lord because his judgment is just you know it's just falling on the world and it will fall again and again so please let us be awake let us repent for our sins you know every day because we are sinners okay just we just need to say yes lord please wash me with your blood and i repent for this or for that and we have to leave the lord continue to sanctificate us you know so if you know that yes you are doing maybe you are still lying maybe you are still you know stealing maybe you are still uh sinning about this or that be careful don't let it go like this come just and repent we have to be humble with the lord and recognize that he's the most high he's the almighty and that everything that he said will happen will happen so we have to pray for the world we have to pray for each other we have to pray for our brothers and sisters in north korea and in south korea and i pray lord that yes lord they will find a shield you know a refuge in you jesus christ i i pray that yes because you are the the cornerstone and lord we know that in you we, you are our protection even if we die we will still live with you lord so i pray you i beg you for my brothers and sisters all around the world so that we can be awake and we can be prepared for your return and so that we can love each other and pray for each other and continue to live you lord uh transform our whole body our soul our spirit lord and to continue this relationship with you until the end until your coming so lord be blessed in the name of jesus christ be blessed my brothers and sisters i hope you have understand me by the grace of the lord and the help of the holy spirit okay because i usually speak french as maybe some of you know so i'm doing my best with the help of the holy spirit okay bye